What's up, New York? I really want to address the subway behavior I've been seeing. It's crazy. Like, some of you think that it's sweet out here and there's no danger, and, and look up from your phone, look up from your book, pay attention to who's getting on the train, take inventory of everybody in your train car. You got AirPods on, you can take one out, keep an ear open, listen around. Y'all gotta stop keeping your head down, blinding yourself to what's happening around you. It's crazy out here. That video I saw yesterday on the New York School Instagram page, I'll link it. This woman got her hair pulled, this guy's holding on to her, all these people standing around doing nothing, you know, the old school just, it's not happening if I don't look at it, you know. Big ass dude in the corner could have helped her out, two people could have coordinated, grabbed the guy, done anything. Like, what is happening out here? Stop binging Netflix, keeping your head down, being blind to people that are getting on the train, blinding yourself to what's going on here. People getting shot in the face, there's crazy things happening in the world right now. Like, come on, people. Pay attention, self-preservation, help your fellow man. If you're in that situation and you got a bunch of men in the car, big ass dude in the corner while this woman is sitting there scared to death, that shit broke my heart. What are you gonna do? What kind of man are you if you're gonna let that happen? Ask yourself that question. Yeah, it's dangerous. If you look if you look at his clothes, whatever, look at what he was wearing. He wasn't wearing, he didn't have a gun on him. Maybe a knife, it's possible, you know. You're trying to help somebody out, trying to possibly save somebody's life. There's gonna be danger of all, but you gotta ask yourself, what kind of man are you? If you're gonna just let there, watch that woman sit there in fear for her life. Broke my heart, man. It really broke my heart. Oh yeah, and to the guy filming it, the guy who was literally holding a camera to her face while she stared at you and asked for help and you started muttering prayers to yourself and you continued to film, who's gonna save her first, bro? God or you? Really? Come on, man. And let's not forget what happened last month with the shooting. All those people got shot in the R train. I take the R train every day. I've yet to see a single cop riding the train with me. A single cop. I've been wondering I commute to work, it's the same thing. Crazy people get on screaming, yelling. No cops. It's every man for himself out here.